Hi, today I'd like to have a bit of a look at the uh, Fender Mirror Image Delay. There's a lot to talk about with this pedal. It's uh, pretty versatile. One of the criticisms you will hear is that that dual light is super bright and it will take out your eye if you stand over the top of it. Um, the other thing is uh, the delay scope isn't as large as a lot of other pedals um, in that I think it goes to about 600 milliseconds. So you're not going to get that fold back on itself delay, which is a uh, you know, on-demand kind of effect. So running a Gretsch hollow body, it's this baby here. The unique thing about this Gretsch is uh, it's got three pickups in it. That's not unique. Uh, but all three pickups are identical. So it's only your output is only governed by its relationship to the bridge and the nut. So distance from the, the bridge obviously becomes a little bit softer. Uh, our dry sound, we turn the tuner off, is that. Not much break up there at all, as you can hear. Um, we're running in the middle pickup at the moment. Well, throw some reverb in. If you're not playing with reverb, you're not playing my kind of music, that's fine. Alright, let's bring that uh, mirror image delay in. It's got three delay types. We blank out that <laughs> dual. Um, we've got digital delay, analog delay, and tape delay. It also has some modulation, uh, which is more effective probably in the tape delay position um, to emulate that kind of tape warble. I've got that cut out right now. Um, Another criticism you hear about this pedal is with the time feature, anything below about 11 o'clock seems to do nothing. Um, it's true, it seems to do nothing. Once you get to 11, you start to get a fair amount of variance. So we'll, we'll drop in at 12 o'clock and we'll just play a little riff. <laughs> On the digital device setting with the dotted eighth turned on. Switch the dotted eighth off. in there. as it goes. third switch on here, one, two, three, is variation two. Given that the scope of delay on this pedal isn't that large, I'd probably never use it, but it actually shortens your delay time. Let me just go over there and have a little bit of a look. Why not level up a bit? I'll 
probably we've ever used variation two, variation one. <laughs> We go to analog. are a little bit softer, not quite like the digital delay, the, 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 the digital delay, um, which is quite abrupt in its repeats. The analog delay, as you would expect, tends to, they tend to fade into each other a little bit more. Let me go to the tape, and that feature is actually a little step higher. So. actually. Um, so the bit that I had turned off will go back to digital and we'll wind in that uh, modulation effect. So we'll just go 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock which is where I've never been before. I've had it two days. Here we go. <laughs> spatial effect you get from a hollow body and we'll whip through each of the other settings with the modulation on <laughs> which is where the modulation originally comes from. somewhere I've never been. demonstrate that it's kind of blind spot in that time so here's the, no time nine o'clock time ten o'clock time So there you 
you go. That's the uh, Fender mirror image delay. Uh, expect to pay about somewhere between $200 and $220. Uh, brushed aluminium enclosure, lovely lights. Look, it's got a dry and wet um, on off switch here. If I can get my hand around it. There we go. So that's lights off. Over here's your wet and dry off. So my effects loop there, which is not parallel, it's in line. I'm only getting the signal from the, uh, the pedal, which apparently... There you go. So there's no dry signal there at all. Um, we'll put the dry signal back in. Turn our lights back on, flash man, yeah. So that's it. I love the thing. It's not a delay pedal for everyone. If you end if, if you want if you want a super digital delay, go and buy a Boss TD3. They're incredible. Um, and they'll loop back on themselves. This one is a little bit more subtle. Um, but very versatile. Cool, thanks for watching.